Yeah, that's not the cool part uh, they tell you about triathlon. <laughs> the soreness, the few days following the race. It's Tuesday now. The race was on Sunday, and this is typically the worst day for me. Uh, my calves are sore, my quads are sore. Yeah, it's kind of what happens when you bike as hard as you can for two hours and 23 minutes and then get off and run as hard as you can for an hour and 35 minutes. All following a leisurely 1.2 mile swim. But anyway, that's that's part of the pain. Recovery is not so cool. I didn't get a massage. I probably should have done that. I do have my compression socks on now. And uh, it's funny, after the race, they had actually salted themselves on. I couldn't pull them off. Um, they were compressed in my legs. Them to get them off. Also had a couple of days to reflect on not making Vegas, uh, missing that by four minutes, uh, which was 11 places. The 50 slots in Miami didn't go as far as I thought they would. Uh, last year they must have had 100 slots available. So did some research. Apparently Ironman is changing the way that they're going to set qualification slots. This year, most of their events were 30 slots, and uh, that was just horrible. No one got to go, so I saw they shut down a couple of races, and most of them were raised up to 40 or 50 slots again. A couple that I'm targeting now, uh, St. George, 70.3. This will be its first year as a half. We'll have 75 qualifying slots, and then the Hawaii half will have... 40 Kona slots and then 72 half Ironman Vegas slots. So that's 112 slots. The fastest guys will probably want to go to Kona off of that, and then that'll leave some, some of the roll down for that half distance. So uh, one of them is on May 4th, and then the other one is uh, June 1st, I think. So my parents live in Hawaii, so I'd be able to see them. That'd be cool. It's on the Kona course, the World Championship Ironman distance course, so that's kind of cool. The St. George course is very hilly, which is not a strength of mine, and uh, so i got to think about that. But with 75 slots, that's an awful tough one to pass up. I uh, just think, you know, am I fast enough? You know, am I fast enough? If I if I get enough slots, I'm fast enough, but how can I be fast enough with the existing slots? I don't know. New training plan, train with power. I don't know. I probably have to shave 10 more minutes off my time. If I got a swim coach this fall, I could probably shave 5 minutes off my swim. I'd leave 5 minutes to make up on the run and the bike. Run said I did the half marathon was 7.15 miles, but my Garmin said it was only 12.6 miles of running. I averaged 7.32, which is actually my best anyway, but uh, to take five minutes off of that would, would be almost another 30 seconds a mile faster, seven minutes a mile, and then I'd have to take you know, maybe a minute off transition or a minute off of my bike, get my bike up to 23.7 or 23.9, and uh, so, I don't know, long winter, lots to think about, it's a dead winter, the winter has started here, far cry from the green of Miami. Road to Vegas, dead end. We'll see you in 2013.